Hey guys, I am back with another haul and I am expecting a couple more deliveries so there may be another haul coming up not too soon, but let's get into it. Okay, so I was contacted by an online clothing store called zaful.com. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly, but I will leave the link down below. And it's one of those cheap Asian style online stores. And I am curious about all the different ones out there because they do have very affordable pieces, so it's great if I can come across one that actually has really good pieces that are good for fast fashion. So I did give it a go and I chose a few items. So the first item is this long khaki um, sheer shirt here, and it's sort of like a duster coat, but it's a shirt. And you guys know that I've been really into duster coats and like long cardigans and stuff and I really wanted a shirt style so this does need a good iron but I actually quite like this one. Now the next item is this t-shirt here and it may look like it's just a plain cropped tee but at the back it looks like this so I quite liked that and I thought it was something a bit different now the last item didn't quite work out for me unfortunately because it is massive so this is what it should look like and this is what I got so this is in a size small and when I put it on seriously guys it just looks like a joke so this runs massive, like the size is huge and it comes with a tie as well but on me it just doesn't work and because I'm a short girl I just can't pull it off at all so kind of just looks like a big blanket so unfortunately that didn't work out but I really liked the look of it on the website and if it was smaller then it could have worked out. Now next I have a few items from Toby and if you've been following my channel for a while you know that from time to time I do haul things from Toby and I've bought things from that online store before. Now this time they contacted me and allowed me to choose a few items so of course I wasn't going to say no because I already shopped there anyway. So the first item is this vest here and I actually really like it. I love wearing faux fur vests or any kind of vests in winter. I really really like the look of it because you could wear a really simple outfit and chuck on a vest and you kind of just already look fashion forward and you're warm and it's just an easy go-to when you just don't know what to wear in winter and you know it looks really good with boots and stuff so that's another good one to add to my collection. Now I also chose this cropped top here and it's actually in like that scuba kind of fabric so I really like that. It's got the exposed zipper at the back and the reason why I got this is because I have a few high-waisted shorts and culottes that I need more tops to wear with so I thought this would be good for that. And the final item from Toby is this coat here and I just thought that it would be really good to have a sort of camel coloured coat in my collection which I don't have. Uh, well not like a thick winter coat anyway and this is sort of in between a really really thick coat and a thin coat so it's a good in between one for days where it's not like super duper freezing but um, it's also not cold enough to wear a thick winter coat and it's also a good length for me as well. Now next I have an item from Mango and Mango no longer exists in Australia or at least in Melbourne, I know that for sure and I didn't actually like Mango when it was in Melbourne, I only liked it when I went to Europe and I loved the pieces there, I actually got quite a few pieces from Mango in Europe and I only just recently found out that they have an online store so I jumped on their website and I bought this dress here and I just thought this is a nice dress to wear to work or even not to work and you can just wear this with tights and boots it's just a nice easy dress to wear I did buy a couple of other items as well but they, the sizes didn't work out for me because it was too big so I ended up returning those but it's worth mentioning that 
The returns policy is actually quite good. Um, you only need to pay $5 and you can return your items and a courier actually comes and collects it from you. So in that way, it's kind of not too risky to buy online. So I'll definitely be buying more from Mango. I also bought a couple of items from ASOS because you guys know I love ASOS and I just can't keep away from that online store, especially because they have a petite range. I love, love, love the fact that they have a petite range. So the first item is this top here and this was from the petite um, section. And this is just a plain white top looks like that but it's got um, a side slit and if you watch my vlogs then you would have seen me wear this top and yeah I really really love it. The next item from ASOS was also from the petite range and it's this midi dress here and I just thought it was really cute. I love the back. It's got like this open back here and you wear it like that and I just think the colour is really nice as well. I love sort of earthy tones like that. So yeah. Now surprisingly I found myself in the Supre store and if you guys are not from Australia you know that Supre has a reputation of being... How do you even describe it? It doesn't have a great reputation in terms of their clothes and stuff. But I was in Supre and I bought this cropped top here and it's striped and you can't see on camera but the stripes are actually like a deep burgundy color so I thought that was pretty cool and once again I got this top to wear with my high-waisted shorts and culottes. Also from Supre I got these shiny black skinny leg jeans and I love these jeans and I always own a pair. The thing is with the um, jeans that have like the sheen on it or the wet look they, the actual sheen comes off after a few washes. Well, not a few washes, but after you wash it a good number of times, it starts to wear off. So every once in a while, I need to replace mine. The last pair that I got were from Cotton On, and that quality was horrendous. Like, you could like run your nail over the fabric and the fabric would like tear. It was just, it was ridiculously bad and I know that buying a pair of Supre jeans is probably not going to help me but I thought I'd give it a go because they were only $45 and if it works out it's a bonus I guess if it doesn't work out it wasn't too much of a risk to take. Now finally I actually bought myself a pair of real Birks and I bought myself a pair of fake Birkenstocks from Dotty a while ago that was when the whole Birkenstock trend was coming in and I have found that I have continued to wear them and so now that I think back I should have just got the real deal back then because they're not even like super in fashion now but I still really like wearing them and I know that you either love them or you or you hate them but I definitely love them I love the look of them um, so I bought myself a real pair and what I realized straight away is that the real Burks are actually really wide in the foot so my fake Birkenstocks were a lot more narrower. These are wider. I actually prefer that because there's more room. I am definitely still in the stage of breaking into them though. So they're not super soft yet. Also, um, if you decide to buy yourself a pair of real Birkenstocks, size down. I usually wear a size 36 and I got this in a size 35 and it fits perfectly. Now the final two items are gadgets and I don't usually feature gadgets in my haul but I was contacted by these companies and I found that they were really interesting items so I did want to feature it in my haul and the first item um, is this Bluetooth keyboard um, iPhone case from an online store called Boxwave and I thought this was really cool and I really liked the idea of it. So you pop your iPhone in there. This one is for an iPhone 5S because that's what I've got, but they do have other models and they've got the latest model as well. So I love that you just like slide in and out and it comes with a charger. So you charge the keyboard and you connect it through Bluetooth. Now the only thing that I realized with this is that if you have nails or long nails like I do, it's actually quite difficult to press the button. So it probably wouldn't work out for you if you had long nails because I find that my nails get in the way, but I do love the idea and if you're someone who sort of works off your phone all the time, you send your emails from there, you do everything from your phone, I can see why this would be useful. 
so I'll have it linked in the description box below. Now the final item is this smart car charger and I thought this was really cool too because not only does it claim to charge your phone or your devices two times quicker, what I really like about it is the fact that you can use it to locate where you've parked your car. And if you're like me, you have at least once in your life forgotten where you've parked your car and walked around the car park looking for it for ages. And with this um, car charger, it will never happen again. So what you do is you download the app and you connect it to the charger so that whenever you you know drive around, you park your car, you can actually find your car afterwards. So that was the best thing that I really liked about it and I'll have that linked in the description box below as well. So that's it for this haul. As I said, I do have a couple of other deliveries that I'm expecting so hopefully there'll be another haul up on this channel sometime soon but in the meantime I do actually vlog on weekends with my husband Phil and I will link our latest vlog in the description down below and thank you guys if you already watch our vlogs we are totally enjoying the whole vlogging experience we're loving reading your comments and we love that you guys are following us on our weekend journey so yeah, that's it for now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.